Hello friends, this video in matter and surroundings part 8 is brought to you by examfa.com. No more fear from exam. Let's talk about scenario where uh, we directly convert from solid to gas and this process is called sublimation and these compound kind of compound is called sublimate. For example, ammonium chloride NH4Cl. Let me write here. Ammonium chloride. Okay, so this is sublimate. So this actually directly converts from solid to gas and gas to solid without changing to liquid. It doesn't have a liquid state. Okay, so we'll see the experiment here. We'll take this uh, ammonium chloride here and in this beaker and we'll have an inverted funnel here. We'll close this with some cotton. And if you want, we can put a filter paper also in between just to make sure that there is no liquid. Or if you want, we can avoid that also. And then you can put a Bunsen burner and heat it. So once you start heating, you see that these ammonium chloride is converted directly to gas. If you see here, there is no liquid form it directly converted to gas. And this gas again here, since the heat is less, it got cooled and got deposited here. Please note here, when you start heating it, it got heated up, it converted to gas. And here, because the heat is less here, it got deposited here. So in heat, it converted to gas directly from solid to gas and then here all this gas because the temperature is low here, this side the temperature is low and this side temperature is high because directly you are heating here. Okay, so when you are heating, temperature is high here, it converts to gas, here temperature is low, it converts from gas to solid and it gets deposited here. It does not get converted to liquid state at all. Okay, let's understand the effect of change in pressure. See, actually if you have a gas and you provide high pressure, you can convert the gas to liquid. In the homes, what you get, the LPG, that is actually pressurized LPG, but that is in the form of liquid. Because it is so much pressurized that that gas actually converts to liquid. If you heard about solid carbon dioxide, so also called dry ice. This is also actually sublimate. So when you heat this or even if you it, uh, it take it out open, it converts into gas. We will see that, we will see that. In fact, on decreasing the pressure, uh, we, this is stored under high pressure. So that means if you take this carbon dioxide, you apply high pressure, you apply high pressure, you can convert this into solid, right? Same thing, same thing if you take gas, let's suppose CNG, you apply high pressure you can convert it this into liquid so good example for this is the LPG gas and good example for this is the dye ice so you will see the impact let's suppose this is a gas and all the molecules are separated from each other there is a huge difference between these two molecules okay so when you apply pressure what happens is these molecules get squeezed and since these molecules get squeezed, the intermolecular space between them is reduced and their motion is also kind of restricted and thus it changes its state from gas to liquid or solid. Let's see once again. Here, this, I have not shown the motion of these uh, particles so that you should not get confused. This, this assume that they are in motion and now and a, they have huge space between them. The intermolecular force between these uh, particles is almost nil. They are free to wander around and thus they are gas. When you apply pressure on these, what happens is these particles get squeezed and the intermolecular space between them is reduced and their mobility is also reduced and thus they, can get, they get converted to solid or liquid. So, so 
in the conversion also pretty much same right you know that in solid then we have liquid and then we have gas right so in this case space between particles is less here it is more liquid will be somewhere in intermediate here the kinetic energy of particles is more and here less and as I told these two are interdependent so either if you want to convert one state to another you can actually increase the temperature so that you can play with this kinetic energy factor or you play with the pressure you increase or decrease the pressure so that you play with the space between particle factor you play with either of these factor and you actually end up in converting one object or one uh, thing from one state to another state okay so hope you understand what i'm trying to say that if you apply actually pressure if you apply pressure what happens is the space between these particles is reduced space between this particle is reduced that means there's a high chance that the gas gets converted to solid or liquid okay so you can play with this factor so for this factor to work you need to apply pressure for this factor to work to increase or decrease the kinetic energy you have to apply heat apply heat or release heat if you want to convert let's suppose from uh, gas to liquid or liquid to solid so so you play so for one the for the kinetic energy factor you have to play with the heat or for the space between particles you have to play with the pressure so we have seen that by playing with pressure and temperature we can actually change state of a given particle okay or of a given uh, uh, matter we can make it from solid to liquid or liquid to gas we can play around we can uh, change the state by changing these two factors and for pressure if you increase the pressure the space between the particles is less and typically the gas gets converted to liquid or the liquid gets converted to solid okay so this is uh, the chart for the change in state of matter the process of conversion of solid to liquid is called fusion we have seen that the process of conversion of liquid to gas so this is solid let me write here this is liquid and this is gas okay solid to liquid is fusion liquid to gas is vaporization and gas to solid is sublimation we have seen these three process also reverse way solid to gas is also sublimation gas to liquid is condensation and liquid to solid is solidification so please remember these terms solid liquid and gas actually these states you can interchange by playing with two factors that is pressure and temperature so when you play with temperature you play with the kinetic energy of the system when you play with pressure you play with the fact with the space between particles so kinetic energy of particles and space between the particles these two factors actually decide the state of a given matter okay let's take some question we have to convert this to uh, celsius 300 kelvin to celsius 300 kelvin is what see we know that uh, degree celsius is nothing but kelvin minus 273 so this is given in kelvin so we'll use this formula so degree celsius is kelvin is 300 kelvin minus 273 kelvin you solve this 27 degrees celsius so 300 kelvin is nothing but 27 degrees celsius let's solve another one degree celsius is kelvin minus 273 what is the kelvin value 573 so 573 minus 273 whole thing will come in degree celsius if you solve it you get 300 degree celsius so 573 kelvin is nothing but 300 degree celsius and 300 kelvin is nothing but 27 degree celsius 
The next question is what is the physical state of water as 25 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius? So 250 degrees Celsius. 250 degrees Celsius I know the water will be gas. We have seen that water is 0 degrees Celsius. This is the graph, right? This is 0 degrees Celsius. This is 100 degrees Celsius and it will increase. So anything above 100 degrees Celsius will always be gas. At 100 degrees Celsius actually it will be both gas and liquid. It will be in both state. It will be a mixture of this. Okay, we have seen this. For any substance, why does temperature remains constant during the change of the state? So actually we have seen this. Let's suppose we have this graph. We have seen this 10 degrees Celsius, 0 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Celsius and above. So the temperature increased, the constant, increased, constant and decrease. So these are the change in state. This is from a solid to liquid and this is from liquid to gas. So in these two cases the temperature is constant and we have used the term latent heat. Right? This is latent heat of fusion, this is latent heat of vaporization. The question is why it is constant? Because, because at this point from here to here this point let's suppose T1 to T2 the heat is actually used to convert or to change the state from solid to liquid or from at this from here to here let's suppose T3 to T4 between these three time interval the heat is used to change the state from liquid to gas okay suggest a method to liquefy atmospheric gas so you have atmospheric gas you have to convert it into liquid to do this what you can do so we have two factors to play around we are told temperature and pressure to make from gas to liquid you have to decrease the kinetic energy right here you have less kinetic energy and also it has less space between particles okay so now to have less space or less kinetic energy let's see the first factor to have less space or uh, less kinetic energy the particles what we do we need to lower the temperature so we need lower temperature okay to have less space between particles we have to increase pressure increase or high pressure right so we need low temperature and high pressure to liquefy the atmospheric gas pretty easy so you had gas you have to convert it into liquid we know that in liquid the kinetic energy of the particles is less the space between the particle is less to decrease the kinetic energy of the particle we have to decrease the temperature to decrease the space between the particle we have to actually increase the pressure we have seen that when you actually increase the pressure and increase the pressure the kinetic uh, the, the for example here the space between the particle is this much and then you have increased the pressure okay the space between the particle is less so this is more pressure and this is less pressure okay if you want we can show you this animation here you see you increase the pressure the space between the particle is reduced okay thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again